guys today I'm gonna do something a little different um, I'm not making cards but I wanted to show you a couple of things you can do with the painted harvest stamp set um, I found these ideas on Pinterest or YouTube they're not my ideas um, but I thought I'd share them with you I thought they were really clever there's some very creative people out there I'm gonna show you first how to create the owl so the owl is um, big so I'm just using a eight and a half by eight piece of whisper white paper you can use him um, you know on your scrapbook pages you could put it in a frame make a nice little fall frame for it uh, you could make a bigger size card but I just want to show you how he was made he's super simple to make the first thing we're gonna do is take basic black and we're gonna stamp out the owl's eyes and you're going to use the center of the sunflower to do that. And the eyes are about an inch and a half apart. So you just wanna stamp these first. So the next step is going to be the second part of that stamp. Um, we're going to use that for the inside of the owl's eyes. And I'm using Daffodil Delight for his eyes. And you're gonna stamp this twice on his eyes. You're gonna to wanna to turn it when you stamp it the second time. So the next part is going to um, use the solid fern and you're going to take crumb cake and we're just gonna stamp this right around his eyes. So you, you kinda of put it on the yellow a little and just like so. And then we're just gonna go around his eyes So now you're going to take the more um, defined portion of that fern, the one that you can see the leaves on, and we're going to take soft suede, and you're just going to stamp this along the bottom of your owl's eyes, kind of overlap your um, crumb cake. So the next step in this is the acorn, the bottom of the acorn. You're gonna take the bottom and we're going to use basic gray and you're just going to ink this all along the line. If you can see the line from your um, fern, just kind of stamp this real close just along the bottom uh, following that line. So the next step is the leaf. You're going to take the more solid leaf and we're going to stamp that in our soft suede. But with the soft suede, what you're going to do is every time you stamp it, you ink it. You're gonna stamp it once off the paper and then stamp it once here. And then you can fill in some of the spaces. So the next step to this is the second part of that leaf, the one where the um, outlines of the veins of your leaves show. And I'm using Smoky Slate, and I'm just going to do the same thing I just did. So to finish off the rest of the stamping, we're going to use the fern again, the one that is the um, second step, the one that's more leaf than solid. And we're gonna use always artichoke with that. And this here, you're just gonna kinda go around his eyes. And then we're gonna make his ears. And you kinda 
pull these out at an angle up here. The last step I did was I just took some scrap brown, um, this was soft suede, and I used the smallest uh, layering square framelits, and then I just cut it in half on the diagonal. And then I'm just going to use some fast fuse and put a little bit on the corners. And then kind of give it a little fold to kind of form his beak. And then just put that right in between his two eyes there. And that would be his beak. So there's one that I've done. Here's another one that I did earlier. So it's up to you. Play around with the colors. See what you can come up with. Um, I just thought it was clever, the owl that you could get out of this. So now I'm just going to show you how the hedgehog was created. I'm just using a piece of Whisper White. This here is measured five and a quarter by four. Um, you can also use, once you make your hedgehog, you could cut him out with one of the um, layering framelits or one of the stitch shape framelits, or you could just leave them here. Very simple, easy to make. So what you're going to need is just a piece of scrap paper. You could use a um, sticky note if you wanted to. And you're just going to want to lay that over the top. And I just used some washi tape I had lying around just to tape that down so it doesn't move on me. And you're just going to use three colors for the hedgehog. You're going to use crumb cake, soft suede, and early espresso. So the first thing we're going to stamp down is our crumb cake and you're going to take your first layer of that sunflower the bigger piece here and we're just going to stamp that down and you're going to stamp it partially on the paper partially off I try to keep the circle of your flower on your cardstock So it'll look something like that. So most of the circle is on my white cardstock. Next part of that um, sunflower, the top layer here, you're going to use soft suede and just, again, just over the top. Next you're going to take the center of that sunflower. You're going to use crumb cake and you're just going to stamp it right in the middle there. I have a little bit of white here so I'm just going to take my soft suede marker and I'm just going to give this a little color in here so that it's not white. So the next thing we're going to do is stamp out his face. Now if you have the stamp set Foxy Friends you could use the face in there to stamp it out simple. I don't have that so I'm going to take the little um, dots that are in this stamp set. And you could see there's one dot that's kind of off by itself here. So what I did was I just took some scotch tape and I just taped all of the dots except for that one. Then I just took my early espresso and I stamped the whole image on there. And then I just peeled the tape up and then I stamped one little eye. Then I repositioned the, the, the um, tape back on my stamp set. I inked it up again, took my tape off, stamped another eye, and then I did it one more time for his nose. And then when you're done, you'll have your little cute little hedgehog. Isn't that so cute? So... There's two other ways to use your Painted Harvest stamp set. Um, I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's other things people have done with it. That's the great thing about Stampin' Up! is they want you to copy and share everything, case everything. As long as you're giving credit to the correct people and not taking credit for other people's work. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.